ADSR envelopes in less than five minutes. Let's get started. So envelopes are a way for us to control parameters over time. It is easy to understand. It's very common to use envelopes on our notes when we are playing something. So right now I have this left envelope set um, to, to control my notes, to control the volumes that they sound. And so let's try it. Right, so that's the envelope. And what we have here is attack, decay, sustain, and release. The attack will control the amount of time it will take for our note to reach its maximum velocity. Right now, it's one second, and you can see that little dot rising to the top here. Let's try it. One second. Now, the other very easy parameter is the release. The release will set the amount of time it will take our note to fade away once we lift our finger from the keyboard. Let's try it. Right now, it's set to one second. I'm playing a note and then releasing my finger from the keyboard. So that's the release. Now, what are sustain and decay? So the attack will control how much time would it take for our note to reach its maximum velocity. But then after a while, we will want the note to sound maybe a little less um, in volume. And so that will be defined by our decay time right now uh, set to one second. And the sustain is not in the time domain, it is a value. And right now it's set to 0.5, which means that the sustained volume or the sustained velocity will be half of what is the maximum that was played. So let's see that in action. I'm playing a note and after one second we'll reach the maximum volume and then after another second we'll go into a uh, sort of a half of the velocity and we'll be able to see that in here in our scopes. So let's try and play a note. So that's the idea here. Now, if we set the attack to something very fast, we'll get a very sharp note. Sort of a plaque. If we set the attack to something more than a few uh, milliseconds, then it will be kind of a pad. So that's the idea here. Now, we don't have to use the sustain and decay. We can have the, the sustain go all the way, which means when we play a note, that note will stay at the same velocity all the time until we just release the finger from the keyboard. And we can do the other way. We can say, hey, let's have no sustain, which means that we'll reach the top and drop immediately. But we need to, uh, to set the decay as well. So that's the time it will take, let's say, four or five milliseconds. And if we get the attack very fast, we'll hear a clicking noise. Let's have a little bit more of the sustain here. All right, so if you play with the sustain, with the decay, with the attack and release, you get different feel of the sound of the same note. And I think that's it. That's ADSR envelopes in five or less minutes. Thank you.